want to scope out in Power BI but not sure about the price, the video is for you. The cost of Copilot is a not simple answer. In short, it depends how much you use it. To answer the question, first you need to know what is the fabric license level, what is the capacity unit, what are Copilot tokens, and how to translate that knowledge to real costs. How to unlock Copilot in Power BI? In short, you need the right license. And yes, you need to pay for it. But in many organizations, the infrastructure may already be in place. Just need to turn it on. Please don't ask to do it until you understand the costs. It might be higher than you think. By looking at the official documentation to use Copilot in Power BI, your organization needs premium capacity, at least F64 level or higher. At the very bottom of the page, you can download a price guide document. Let me open it and scroll down. What is Microsoft Fabric Capacity? It's a scalable computer, powers use across services like Power BI, Data Factory and others. So to run many products, not only Power BI. The more users or activity you have, the higher capacity you might need. By looking at a price table, F64 costs around $5,000 per month. But again, it's a shared across many users. Possibly dozen, depends on their usage. And for different products. If 5000 sounds too high, don't worry, there is a more flexible option. Pay as you go. I'll explain it later. The capacity needs depends on many factors. Microsoft created a capacity estimator, but unfortunately, we don't have the copilot option to select there yet. Even if you have the right license, copilot usage isn't unlimited. Copilot consumes capacity units based on how much you use it via tokens. Let's jump back to the license deck and scroll down to the capacity units. Think of the capacity units like a horsepower of a car. The more horsepower or capacity units, the faster the car can go, and the more tasks can it handle at once. Capacity units represent the computing power available in your Microsoft capacity for 24 hour time window. What does it mean in practice? F64 capacity means 64 number of units multiplied by 24 hours gives you about 1500 capacity unit hours to spend in one day. Copilot uses tokens to measure how much you are interact with it. But what actually is a token? Think of it like a sending a message and getting a reply. The longer your message or the more detailed Copilot response, the more tokens are used. A short question might use just a few tokens, while a deep dive into a dataset can use many more. According to Microsoft, 1000 tokens is roughly 750 words. To give you perspective, this video has around 1000 words. So it's enough for a solid conversation with Copilot. Let's try to interpret the token usage into real money. According to Microsoft, input and output message are charged differently. 1000 input tokens cost 100 capacity units in seconds, while 1000 output tokens cost 400 capacity units in seconds. Thus, the conversation with AI cost 500 capacity units seconds in total. Note, there are seconds, not in hours. So let's change them to hours. 500 capacity units in seconds give you about 0 0.14 capacity units in hours. In F64, you have 64 capacity units per hour, so 0 0.14 capacity unit hours are about, about 0.01 percentage of all your total capacity. Are the costs big or small? The easiest way to get a feel for copayant pricing is to look at as a percentage of your total capacity usage. It's more than estimate than exact number, but from what I've seen, Copilot can increase your usage by around 10 or 30%. So this is the answer of, of the video. 
That means if you are already near to your capacity limits, you might need to consider upgrading your license. Please remember, Copilot shares the same capacity engine as your reports, data refreshes, and power query transformations. Once the capacity is exhausted, all operation will shut down, including the reports also. So please ask your Power BI admin to monitor capacity usage to avoid surprises. If the 5000 is too much, don't worry. There's a smarter, more affordable way to get started. If you're just testing Copilot or working in a small company, pay-as-go pricing is a great option. Instead of paying monthly, you can pay only for the hours you use. It's around $12 per hour. And here's the best part. You can turn the capacity on only when you need and turn it off when you don't. This means you are only paying during active testing or development time. If you are ready to explore Copilot Power BI, here is action plan. Ask your Power BI admin to turn off Copilot and confirm capacity level. Start small for only a few users. Use pay as you go to avoid high costs and monitor capacity usage. Then decide if it's worth to scaling or not. Do you have any end user problems with Power BI? Drop me a comment. I will create a video about it. See you there.